Hey guys, how you doing? Saturday night. Um, I want to talk about using a baseball bat pendulum as a solo training tool to get used to touching punches or um, connecting up with a weapon that's coming at you when you don't have time to slip or move or use footwork, but you want to fire from what they're doing. So uh, those of you who box, you're familiar with the concept of a catch. Essentially what you're doing when a punch comes forward is you're using your palm to catch the punch. What I like to do when I practice is swing, swing something heavy. Like a baseball bat works good because when you do catch it, you can you make contact with it. You know, it comes forward. You have a reference point, which would be the end of the punch. And it's just a fun tool. Plus it, it helps you get uh, some of the timing down and get used to the idea of touching a punch that's coming forward. So what you do is a person can be throwing a job at you. Or it could be a jab cross, we'll get to that, but right now just a jab. Alright? So if you figure you're that foot forward, they're that foot forward. The bat is gonna simulate a punch. Obviously not at the speed, but the idea is just to get used to the idea of what to do. When a catch is going to be applied to a punch, um, the one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to reach forward. You want to keep your 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 glove, or in this case, the talking empty handed, in front of your chin. Okay, and it's gonna it's gonna flip out. What I like to do when it's coming forward at me fast, I don't like to just bend my knees and, and and catch. I like to step back with my back foot a little bit to load a spring on my back leg. That allows you to propel forward a little bit. So what that looks like is you step here, and you catch. You see, when you come forward, and then you can punch. But that's an exaggerated view. So when I step back, you'll see the exaggeration. That's what I'm showing you what you're going to be doing. Of course, when you do it in real time, it's going to be a lot quicker. All right? So you have your back heel up a little bit, and when something comes out your face, you step, boom, boom. All right? You, you catch here like this. Don't reach out. And keep this hand ready to fire, or you can, you can react with the right hand. So you're going to use the jab. You're going to use the cross, and you're going to use the jab cross the combination. I'll show you these. Okay? And I'm showing you a sideways perspective, or I can, I can go to camera like this. But I think you get a better idea if I'm more sideways. You can see what the pendulum is doing, and my hands are in relation to the pendulum. So as you step back, it's boom, boom, boom. All right? I like the jab cross afterwards. When you catch, boom, you step one, two. Fire right off your, your, your chin. Uh, so as you step back, your palm comes forward, OK? Then you step forward. Because they're going to be recoiling your punch. Now they're either going to throw the jab out and bring it back, or they're going to throw the jab out followed by a cross. So you have to be prepared for that. But again, this is just a fundamental practice. So you step back, catch, boom, boom, right? Just throw a jab cross back. So you catch, boom, boom, one, two. Remember, try to get in the habit of letting the bat come to your hand. That's what you're working on. Get used to this idea. Many people have a habit of wanting to reach out and loop over with the same hand, okay? There's nothing wrong with answering back with just the right cross, but what you want to do is you want to catch and then step and punch at the same time off, off your spring. Catch, boom, all right? And again, like I said, you can use the jab cross. One, one, two, okay? Now, if a person throws a jab and a cross, all right, what you're going to do, catch, parry, boom. All right, what that looks like, catch, when you step back, boom, boom, one, two, okay? Or you can answer with one punch. Boom, boom, right cross. Or boom, boom, jab, okay? Now, we'll address the idea if the person's southpaw or conventional in a second. All right, so now when you practice two beats, you're just gonna tap the back twice. So you're gonna make catch, parry, step off to the side a little bit. Because you wanna change angle when you counter attack, okay? So it's catch, catch, one, two, all right? Nice and relaxed. So you step back and you catch, catch, one, two. All right? Now you can also answer with just the cross as well. Okay? Now, what other parts of your arm can you block with? You can use your elbow. Okay? So an elbow works more like a parry. Right? Comes across. I'll go to the camera first. Okay? I'm this way. All right? Where you step up this way. Okay? But use your front elbow. Boom. Now, when you use your 
elbow. You want to bring your hand up to your head. Okay? Boom. One, two. Okay? You want your hand up here in case they throw something else. This is already up here. All right? This is more on a martial arts line of things instead of boxing, but you can use it when you box. You know? Uh, just practice. Bam. All right? Just practice here. Bam. Now, when you do an elbow roll, you're not going to step back normally on your back foot like you would when you do a catch to make the spring. But what you will do is if it's if the person saw a right shot to my face, their their right hand is coming here, I'm gonna step off a little bit as a deflection. Boom. You bend your legs and you just do do a, a scooch. Okay, then you fire in. Alright? So when it comes forward, see, bang. But if you load the boom, one, two. Alright? But the bat helps you get, get used to where you want to use, what you want to hit on your elbow. Because you're going to find it sensitive when you got wood against foam. So you get, you get used to where's a good spot on your elbow to make contact. And where, and where that is, is not the cap itself, obviously. That's where all the bones meet. Down about an inch, inch and a half. Okay? That's a good place to make contact. Now remember, this is a deflecting contact. You're not, you're not taking the full brown of impact. Right? But when it comes forward, boom, one, two. All right? Now, if you use the other elbow and you're left forward, you just simply switch your feet. Boom, one, two. Okay? Same thing when you're using a hand parry. Okay? Step here, off to the side. Boom, one, two. If you use the right hand, you lift it forward, switch your feet. One, two. It also puts you in position of elbow control. All right? When you step to your inside, and a punch is coming, and if you just step off to the side and you're still orientated with your left foot forward, you're not going to be able to control your elbow on their left side. It's a real important thing to remember. Whatever side of the opponent you go on, you want that elbow control. Now again, we're talking about uh, controlling a situation in a violent counter, um, and I'm using some sporting tactics from boxing, from martial arts, but when you're using it in a reality-based fashion, it's about control. And so getting to elbow control is a very important spot to be when you need to control the situation for a lot of reasons, but that's another tutorial. But anyway, that's the purpose of switching your feet. So from here, bang, now I got my right foot forward, so when that comes, I might get elbow control happen. If I go to my left, my left foot's forward, and he throws his right hand, and I'm here, boom, I'm already in position for elbow control, punch, kick, or knee, whatever I need to do. Okay? So these are important things to remember. Now, last but not least, a wide slap, a hook, a looping punch coming to your head. All right? What you want to practice doing in a case like that, you swing the bat off at a 45 degree angle, and you just get used to putting your arm up. In boxing, you have a glove, so a lot of times you see them reach back, and the person hitting you has a glove. Okay? So that glove's not going to get through. When somebody's hitting you with bare knuckles, it'll get through. This is why you don't do this. You want to reach your bone out. Okay? And you obviously want to stop their bone inside the wrist area. Okay? And when you do that, you want to compress your legs. Right? Boom. So when you compress your legs, you can fire back your own hook. Plus, you can step it. You step here. Boom. One, two. So you come here and you step forward. Right? Somebody's throwing some sort of a slap. Um, a hook punch, that's a wide hook. If it's a close hook, you can rock back and get your chin out of the way. All right? Or if you have nowhere to go, you want to put your bones up. All right? Don't cup your hand back like this. Okay? When it's a real fight, don't do that. You want to put your bone up. All right? You want to be able to deflect the bone, and then you can slap or eye gouge, punch. All right? So you boom, one, two. When you're practicing on the bat, remember, this is just a sensitivity tool get used to the content, okay? So when it comes forward, you get used to putting putting your bone up where it needs to be, okay? You just get used to the idea of what you, and you get used to where on your arm, if you're going to take a punch with a bare knuckle, where's a good place to hit on that? Okay, so that's what the bat represents. It's just a sensitivity training tool. And the reason I like it, because it's already got weight to it, it's not going to go bouncing all over the place. You don't get hurt, but you get a little, little idea of of how is a good way to practice, all right? Now, when you want to focus on 
a spot on the bat, okay? Because that's that's the person's fish. You want to be able to pinpoint that fish coming forward, okay? Now, at the very at the at, at, that's the worst case scenario. In other words, their fish is in your arm. Ideally, you want to try to hit their forearm, underneath their forearm, past their fish. So, in other words, the fish is going past your head a little bit. So, when you practice coming in a little bit. That's good. Right, but you want to make sure that the fish doesn't go around your arm and hit your neck or hit the hit your ear. This is why you've got to put your hand out a little bit. Don't do this. If you put your hand here like this, it'll sneak around and hit you in the head. You see? You want to put your bone out, okay? Kind of 90 degree hang, angle with your hands. You come on, boom. Alright? This will stop. And you can fire right in again. Alright? So that's the idea with that. Obviously you practice using your backhand as well. You know, you practice your bang, same thing. When you're using your backhand blocks, left-sided hooks, or slaps, you can throw a straight punch. When you're using your front hand, you can just slap with your hand. You can eye poke, you can uppercut, right? or you can drop and you can jump in and throw a hook across, that kind of thing. All right? Okay, so quick review. Cast motion. Catch parry. Okay, now, when you're going to do the hook one, go to camera again. Move it off at an angle, okay? Not straight at you, okay? Because it's gonna, it's gonna come this way, like this, all right? From here, boom, get used to putting your hand up, okay? And fire from there. And when it's on this side, you're gonna have your left foot forward, throw it off your shoulder, 45 degree angle, it comes here, see? Idea, you can fire from there. Make a spring with your legs, it's just, it's just like squatting real quick, you know? That, that's what helps a lot with that. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share this idea with the bat pendulum. I use it a lot. I, as you can see, I use a lot of pendulums. But uh, this is a fun tool. Again, remember, it's a sensitivity drill. It just gets you used on how things are going to contact your arms. It's important to understand. Okay? All right. Anyway, every, I hope everybody's having a great Saturday night. Um, uh, you can follow me on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, email me at billyboston at gmail.com. Uh, any questions at all, or uh, interested in uh, workshops of any kind, or you want to get training groups going for yourselves, uh, please give me an email, and uh, I can help you out with that. Anyway, everybody take care. I'll be up to enjoy, enjoy this weekend, and stay out of trouble. Yeah?